Good morning, welcome back. I am talking to you from New York. I live here now, crazy life changes have occurred. Let me catch you up. So, my husband and I have been wanting to move from Dallas, Texas, somewhere else for a long time, somewhere that would be beneficial to my career as a plus size blogger and influencer and someplace that would be a more invigorating, exciting life change for him and also myself. I previously lived in Los Angeles in my early 20s. I'm 34 now and we were leaning towards Los Angeles for a minute, but we decided not to go there because of a few reasons. One, I had already lived there before and we thought that maybe it would be kind of like an unfair advantage because I knew everything there was to know about like all the neighborhoods, things like that. And I definitely had a previous somewhat of like a social sphere out here. And I think in New York, we're on a much more even playing ground just to start from. We also moved out here because of the seasons, which Los Angeles doesn't really have an abundance of. I mean, it has like a long duration of one of the better seasons, which is like springy summer, 75 degrees all year round. But out here in New York, there is absolutely like a clear divide between spring, summer, fall, and winter. We decided to just nosedive right into it. A few months back, we came here and visited Terrytown Sleepy Hollow, which is maybe an hour north of the city. And I am like such a Halloween girl that I was like, I have to live in Sleepy Hollow. I have to have that Halloween like address just for street cred. For whatever reason, we didn't really like any of the apartments that we saw out there, but a few towns closer into the city, more in Westchester County, we found the perfect apartment complex. We leased it back in October because, I don't know if you can tell, but there's light coming in from here on this side of me, and there's light coming in here. So we've got a corner unit with beautiful, beautiful views. I'll show you in just a second. There's gorgeous trees. It's like there's a full like woodland experience <laughs> behind our apartment. And we just decided we can't miss this opportunity. This is so gorgeous. It's December now. We've been here for just over a week and it's about to be New Year's and we are brand new baby New York people. I don't think I can call myself a New Yorker yet. I think there's like rules about that. People get mad. Like if you call yourself a New Yorker and it's not been, I don't know, like 10 years. <laughs> I am not, not gonna call myself a New Yorker. And I think there's even like a group of people that believe that if you're not born here, you're not really a New Yorker. So I'm not here to offend anybody. I'm just here to absorb, appreciate, and enjoy. We haven't fully settled in yet. There are lots of things to be done here. What's great is that we definitely have a lot more space because we're not directly in the city. I'm very excited to decorate. I've already ordered some pieces and I will take you along that process. Okay, I really wanted to show you the view. So pretty. So there's like a little path down there where you walk your dog. And then over here, this is like absolutely stunning in the fall. It's probably like a little bit bare winter right now, but I will take you out sometime just to see the local flora and fauna. I will be giving a more in-depth tour later, but for now I've just got some things to do. I ordered so much stuff. I'm actually like super, super like guilt tripping myself because I feel like I'm ordering a combo of my little like, oh, I got paid for Christmas. I'm getting myself a bunch of presents and I'm also ordering stuff for the apartment and then stuff for content because it's about to be 2023 and I have this abundance of excitable energy about all the stuff I'm gonna make next year. So, it'll be good. <laughs> yeah. I stayed up too late last night. No, I didn't stay, yes I did. Hold on, I sound delirious. Wait, look at this, look what I got. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I stayed up too late last night. I stayed up till two and then I woke up at six because I had to go to the bathroom and because the sun was everywhere and I couldn't go back to sleep. And now I feel delirious and I got a bunch of packages in the mail from Sephora and Skims. And I thought I would just do a little haul of like things I got for myself in that interim period of like Christmas where everything's on sale and you just buy yourself extra Christmas presents. So 
Let's do it. Okay. I just wanted to try literally everything. So the first thing, I got a Necessaire hand cream. I love everything from Necessaire. Plus, I'm trying to build a sophisticated lady bedside table, and I thought that this hand cream would be perfect to have. It's fragrance free. It's just really simple and chic looking. I did buy this because of how it looks, but we're trying to set a tone. The bedside table angle, I think, is something that you'll be seeing quite a bit of in this order. There are multiple boxes. I got the It Cosmetics Confidence in Your Beauty Sleep Skin Transforming Pillow Cream. There she blows. That did not focus. I just burped on camera. This is like a problem for me. I feel like I just burp on camera sometimes because I don't, I just feel it's way too comfortable. I got some Necessaire Shampoo and Conditioner. We've got a little pattern going on. I just wanted chic, simple stuff for my new apartment. It's weird, but like obviously you buy products for how they affect you, but sometimes the products are um, also home decor. So I wanted things that looked pretty in my shower. Oh, it's, always, it's only focusing on me. Maybe if I hide, you get the idea. This is a Tatcha lip mask. Again, for my bedside table, I just want to have a full like resort moment in my bedside table. Maybe uh, part of this vlog, I'll film my like little building of it. How cute. It comes with one of these little gold spatulas. Very pink and pretty. Has that like white packaging. Okay, I'm, I'm seeing the vision that I created for myself. So I'm trying out, because I got a sample the last time I ordered from Sephora of the Augustus Bader cream. I don't know which one I want more, the cream or the rich cream. So I got the small size of both just to kind of try out and see how I like them. This is, these are fancy things. I mean, that's how they get you, baby, with like the samples. I would not have like pursued this these products outside of like receiving a sample and I tried the sample and I was like oh my goodness that is amazing this is the rich cream they both look the same it has a nice little pump I will get back to you on that so this is where we're getting into like experimental territory this is the Sol de Janeiro bum bum body oil comes with a pump oh, this is really pretty like this. I'm hiding behind the products again. Then I got an overnight repair treatment. This is a Tatcha uh, a barrier uh, repair overnight treatment. Really excited about this. I read great reviews about it and I am always looking to repair my barrier and have a great skin in 2023. Is this turning into like a New Year's video? I'm fine with that. I don't know if you're on TikTok, but there is a new like it girl du jour on TikTok. Her name is Alex Earl. Uh, she looks like, like kind of like a Victoria's Secret model. Like she's a babe and I think she's in Miami, but she has risen to fame and fortune very rapidly on this platform. And I will not lie, but she influenced me on a couple of products. She uses a duo of mascara and her lashes looked fantastic by the way. So she curls her lashes and she curls her lashes in a way that like looks truly ridiculous, but she swears by it. I would go watch her TikToks. I think they're really fun, they're entertaining. And she's so like, she has a nice monotone voice, which I think a lot of people would initially be like, oh, are you insulting her? I'm not, I feel like that's a cool quality. There's the Better Than Sex waterproof mascara and then she puts that down first and then she puts the roller lash on top of it so this is Too Faced and this is Benefit and this is what she does so she you gotta watch her video she does crazy lash curler moment where she looks like and she says she says if it's not if you're not pinching yourself you're not doing it right so she looks like she's in pain and then she follows it up with these two mascaras and i am really intrigued to see if i get the same effect because my lashes are not the longest i got the makeup by mario foundation to try i have got quite a few foundations to try out which is why i'm filming this as a haul because i was like you know what i buy way too much like makeup and beauty products to not be <laughs> showing it on camera and what is cool about this I can't really see it because honestly I, my eyes are a little out of focus from uh 
how late I stayed up. Ooh, it looks like a good match. That's pretty good. Damn. Wow. Okay. New uh, Makeup by Mario foundation. I'll get a specific name. It does not say on the box. <laughs> And they had a Better Than Sex brown mascara. Had to try that. I got the Rare Beauty sponge. It just looks so cute. And I always need like new makeup sponges. I feel like I just let them get really nasty. And I'm not gonna do that this year. Man, everything is like new year, new me. There she blows. Cute. Okay, this is kind of the Rare Beauty portion of this haul. I know. Y'all, I, I, no joke, went crazy. I was just like, I think I had just like a TikTok binge. Like anything I saw people trying, I was like, I wanna try that. I wanna try it. I feel like there's no other social media platform that I've ever been on that's made me like, just go on like freaking shopping sprees like TikTok. Not to justify my actions or my spending, but A, it was that like post Christmas like season. And then B, I am so bad at opening things. I really do feel like I'm kind of like creating my 2023 persona and I'm creating it with products. I say that like semi facetiously. Okay, so my cats have been extra crazy lately and when they don't know where my husband is, they just like make the saddest, like the saddest sounds looking for him. So, Rare Beauty. Highlighter. Ooh, that is gorgeous. Blush. I've heard really good things about these cream blushes. So the colors I got and lighten is the highlighter and then the blush is nearly neutral. Also, oh, this is the most satisfying packaging. It, it reminds me of a Polly Pocket. Just has that sensation. It's just like round. Ooh, ooh. I'm a very tactile person and I think this is playing into that. And then another one of the illuminators. This one is in a rose gold color and it's called Mesmerize. I am, I'm so down with the rare beauty. And I got a, like a lip pencil and a lipstick that I thought would be nice. It's like a pretty rose color. This one is called Lively. The pencil is also lively. Got two Makeup by Mario. They're the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancers. Again, I saw a girl on TikTok showing this and she uses it kind of in lieu of, it's not a bronzer and it's not a blush. It's just a product to add a healthy bit of color into your face. And my God, this, this woman sold this to me. It looks like a bronzer, but she put it on in a way that was like without any kind of precision and i really admire products that you can kind of go in like that and she was like you don't need to be precise with this it blends out by itself and it just adds definition and a healthy glow to your face and all of that just like you know it was like a dog whistle to me i was like ooh. I got in two different colors. I got the light and I got the light medium because i am planning on getting a little bit of a self tanner it looks like a bronzer i will report back I got a Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in Gummy Bear, which is a heavenly fragrance. I love their lip mask, so I just decided to try the balm. This is something else I'm gonna have in my bedside table for my really like luxurious nighttime spa. <laughs> Another product I saw on TikTok, this is the Beauty Bio The Pout Volumizing Lip Serum. I'll just put this on right now. Hmm, that's pretty. I think what intrigued me about this one is that someone was talking about how it's like a lip plumper, but they didn't feel, it didn't feel stingy. That's really fun. Oh, it's in a scent, Sparkling Rosé. That looks good. I'm so sorry, my cats are going crazy behind us. Skims, I have drank the Kool-Aid. I have become such a fan of Skims in the last six months. Kim, you've done it, you've created a genius product and that product is like basics. So I have been losing some weight in the last few months and I do need to like kind of replace a lot of my more like form fitting clothing and underwear and just basics. So this is kind of a replenishment of that. And then also me starting anew with just like 
colors that I want in my wardrobe. So I kind of wasn't as deliberate with like my lounge pieces. I would just get random colors. And now I'm much more into neutrals along with like every other person in the world. But I do think it just looks sleek, pretty nice, and you never not have anything to wear, if that makes sense. All of these come with, it says, I am not plastic compostable made from plants. I will biodegrade in your home compost and an industrial compost facility. Starting off with some underwear. I chose these because they are nice and high-waisted. These are cotton, I think. It has a nice thick waistband. Really, really cute. So I've really been in to the corset top trend and they just debuted these cotton corsets at Skims. I think these are so cute with like just jeans or a skirt. Love this. I'll be excited to try it on. It looks like it's gonna be a good fit for me. And I just wanted like a nice gray color to wear with like like a black faux leather mini skirt or even like like a faux leather pant. Ooh, that is gorgeous. And I just, I can tell it's really high quality too. It has actual like boning in it, which I think is nice. It doesn't, it feels pliable. It's not like steel boning or anything. I stocked up on more than a few of these just basic tees. I'm trying to like, I love just wearing black if I'm being honest. So I'm just leading into my late in life goth girl phase. And these are so good just to wear with everything. Again, I just like them with jeans or with like loungewear or sweats. So cute, you can wear this little skirt. This is just a nice basic tee and I think they do it really, really well. That one was a thinner material. This one is a tee with a little bit more of a thicker material. Just basic, cute. I really like the fit on these. They are just like, everything fits like a womanly frame so nicely. This one is the boyfriend tee, oversized, but so soft. I'm always just so impressed at like how soft everything feels. This is what I need to impart on you. I freaking love Skims pajamas. I love them, particularly these like ribbed sets. They're so good. I think you can size down on them because I find them to be really oversized. So I got a two X and everything. So freaking cute. I'm just, I'm excited to have my little cozy, chic, everything matches. Everything's complimentary to each other. Like just nice basic wardrobe. Another cute little tee. This one's in like a taupey gray color. Love. This is another one of like the thinner material ones. I think this is the like fits everybody line that they have. No tag, if you're sensitive to stuff like that. Nice. I feel like that's gonna look really good on my tatas. This is really cute. I just thought this would be sexy. So I got a gray Henley onesie in the same material as those pajamas. So I got another, uh, of the thicker basic tees in black. So cute. These little like boxer shorts, I got these to wear with the oversized black tee as like a set. Lounging, hanging around the house. And then this matches the underwear that I showed you earlier. Just like a simple little bralette. Not a lot of support here, but I don't really need a lot of support. It's, it's like paper thin. It's really nice. Ooh. Ooh, and then I got three pairs of socks and these are their slouch socks. I see a lot of girls just looking so cute in these, doing like a sneaker and then wearing leggings and kind of scrunching these for like a really cute like workout look. And that is my haul. <laughs> I feel like overwhelmed and I'm sure that my husband is overwhelmed, but this is going to be a really cool new year. I feel like I'm already going into it with like a new vibe.
I just went to the Guggenheim with a companion who doesn't want to be on camera. So I'm not alone, I'm not a loser. It was beautiful. Lots of nice contemplative moments to be had. And the whole thing's on a nice slant. So you're basically going up multiple flights, but you have no concept of how much cardiovascular ex excretion? excursion, exertion that you're up to. Now we're gonna go get coffee and I'm getting some practice on filming myself in public. I'm not as embarrassed as I thought I would be. We'll see though, there's no one around. So, you know. That's all likely to change. <sighs> also, I wore absolutely the wrong shoes today. I had been wearing very comfortable sneakers whenever I come up to the city, but today I was like, no, I wanna wear fashion girl boots. That was a mistake. My little feetsies are getting New Yorked, but that's fine. We gotta build them up to be traveling feet. Right now, they are Texas feet, so they're used to being in the car, but now we're just hoofing it, as I'm sure you can probably hear from my pressured breathing on camera. Everyone has trashed their Christmas trees. Not a problem for me though, I'm enjoying the smell. We're at the Moulin Rouge. The first act just ended, it's intermission. I don't know if you'll be able to hear us at all, but I have the first playbill to go in my Broadway binder. <laughs> We just went to dinner and I had the weirdest combination of food. I asked for hot wings and ranch and they gave me teriyaki wings and Thousand Island dressing. I, that would never occur to me. The plate was so much fun. If you like things coming down from ceilings, women, glitter, confetti, it was fabulous. A jukebox musical definitely for millennials because they definitely sang a postal service song, which I'm all for. I didn't record an outro for this video. I'm already recording the next video, so get excited. It's It's got more fun, less stupid stuff. Actually, there's plenty of stupid stuff, don't worry. I just wanted to say thank you and more chaos to come. Like and subscribe.